Hey guys and welcome to Order Scale. So in the today's video I'll be showing you how to use GPT-4 for free. Not only that, but we'll be writing a 3000 word article which is factual, we'll create a featured image and we'll format everything into a nice blog post. And again, the great thing about it is that everything is free. So for this to happen we need the new Bing chat, I've just upgraded my Edge browser. And now I get this nice sidebar, which consists of chat itself and the beautiful compose tab that now allows me to select a different tone of voice, format and different length of my output. And I'll try to do everything inside Bing. So here we go. First things first, we need to decide on the keyword and no, it's not going to be candoxid bananas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people are getting sick and tired of that keyword by now. So the keyword is going to be how to do a one-arm push-up. So first we need an outline, obviously. And there is some anecdotal evidence that Bing uses GPT-4 for creative mode only. I have not found any concrete evidence for that. So the assumption is still that uh, Bing is using GPT-4 by default. So the first prompt is going to be suggest a heading as subheading structure for a blog post about how to do a one-arm push-up. And I don't know if it's uh, the Bing's thing or what, but whenever I try to say give an outline, it starts writing an article. So it's been my experience that with Bing at least, you need to try a different prompt for it to give you the actual outline. So again, suggest a heading and subheading structure for a blog post about how to do one-arm push-up. And you might have noticed that on the left-hand side, uh, this is my words to scale WordPress um, post, and we'll be copying everything from the sidebar to this page. Then we'll format everything and we'll see what the end word count is going to be. So this is our structure. I'll copy this over. The next thing we're gonna do is copy this H2 and the supporting headings and head over to Compose. We'll paste this in this write about box. We'll choose, let's just schedule for that paragraph and the length is going to be long. And we'll hit generate. It's been my experience that if you choose blog post, the output is going to be longer, but you have to format out the intro and the conclusion. So in the end, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's a nice song, by the way. Okay, so now I'll be deleting the supporting talking points. And one of the functions or features that I like about this sidebar is to add to side button. So hopefully it works. Yes, it did work with some formatting as well. So in an instant, we got a nice chunk of text. Okay, then we'll just repeat the process. We'll highlight the second H2 and the talking points. We'll paste them over into the write about section. And while it's generating, we'll get rid of the talking points once again. We don't need them for now. Okay, then let's add to site once again. Another chunk of text is here. And it's talking about regular push-ups and diamond push-ups and archer push-ups and one-arm push-up negatives. So all the exercises that you would do in a preparation. So by now, I think you've got the gist. We'll copy the third H2 and talking points. So before we were talking about the preparation and the supporting exercises, now we're talking about how to actually go from the semi one-arm push-up to a full one-arm push-up, start with an inclined surface, next try the one-arm push-up with your non-working arm in front of you, then one-arm push-up with your non-working arm on your side, finally try one-arm push-up with your non-working arm behind your back. And this is actually funny. So. Um, one of the biggest uh, upgrades to Bing, which hasn't been uh, fully developed or fully rolled out yet, is the video answers. So the output was trying to give us some references as far as videos go. And we'll be actually going back to that in a minute. But now we need to complete the body of the article. So this is our last H2. So once again, we were talking about the supporting exercises, then the progression from a, in the easier version of a 1-1 one -one push-up to a more difficult version. And now we are trying to take it to the next level. Okay, add to side. And this is talking about weighted vests, change in hand position, explosive or clap one-arm push-ups. 
And yeah, that's it. Let's write our conclusion and actually a few things that I want to add as well. Let's go back to chat. Write a bulleted conclusion to a blog post about how to do one arm push-ups. Okay, this works for me. And we'll also try another thing like generate a helpful key take aways table about doing one arm push ups. Okay. See if we can copy this. And this looks like an HTML. No, it's not. Oh, beautiful. So look at this. Benefits, prerequisites, steps, and variations. And we'll call it, or let's just call it facts about one arm push ups. Next, we'll ask creative, uh, we'll ask Bing Chat to write a short but engaging intro. And see this response here. So uh, if you are using the sidebar and using prompts, uh, the default behavior of the sidebar of the Bing or the Bing is to try and parse the web page, but it's uh, it often fails at that. So just ignore whatever was written previously. And this is our nice intro. And now let's just uh, beautify it a little bit. So one of the great things about the new Bing is that you can generate pictures inside of the Bing. So generate an image of a person, person doing a one arm push up. I'll try to create that. Thank you, Bing. And the amazing part is that uh, this is all for free. So free of charge, free everything. Image creation, blog posts, research, and since Bing is uh, fetching real data, it is factual. Wow, these are close to what we wanted, but not not quite. But let's just look at the quality of the images. I want you to admire the quality. This is very high quality stuff. Look at that. Look at this. This is amazing. And I don't want to waste any more time about uh, on the images. So I have generated an image for you using Bing, which actually looks like this. So I think this is amazing. This is a very good looking image. <laughs> so I actually really want to make this an H2. Common myths and misconceptions. Okay. And I also would like to generate an FAQ section. So here we go. And I almost forgot one last thing. And so this is this demonstrates the new feature of being chat. So if I were to inside the chat, if I were to ask how to perform a one arm push up. So this now gives us uh, not only the actual answer, but the YouTube videos as well. So what we can do, we can copy the link. So there you have it, we have a video. So let's check everything out once again. So our title, beautiful featured image, key takeaways table, video, FAQs and the conclusion. So let's redo the word counts on this. And now the word count is 200, 2600 words, and I'm pretty sure we can we could have bumped it up to 3000, but that's it. So there you have it. I think this is an amazing workflow that you can use for free to create high quality blog posts that address the search intents. Hope this video was helpful. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.